Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited to share my no-bake dessert today that's going to be perfect all summer long. It's great to take to barbecues, picnics, and get-togethers. I'm going to show you how I make my no-bake summer sangria parfait. Now I have an, a summer sangria cake that you guys are loving right now. It's one of the most popular recipes on my blog, but I wanted to make a simplified version of that that requires no baking, because let's be honest, nobody wants to be baking when it's 100 degrees outside. So instead of sponge cake, I'll be using lady fingers. I have my sangria on my fruit. I'm gonna make some creamy frosting that's gonna layer everything together, and you guys are going to love it. Let's get started on the cream first. So in my mixing bowl, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese, and to that I'm going to add a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Just pour that right in. And I'm gonna grab my hand mixer, you could do this in the stand mixer bowl, and cream the cream cheese and the sweetened condensed milk together until there's no clumps and it's really smooth. All right, that mixture is nice and creamy. I had to switch over to my stand mixer because my hand mixer literally just broke. I'm going to pour in two cups of chilled heavy cream. You want this to be really nice and cold. And I'm also going to add in one teaspoon of strawberry emulsion. I'll also be adding some strawberry preserves. Now you can also make this with raspberry preserves and then you would just add some raspberry extract. And then I'm going to whisk this on a slow to medium speed first until that uh, heavy cream gets kind of mixed in there and then I'll turn it up to high speed until I get stiff peaks for about 20 seconds. I wanted to pause for you guys and show the texture that you're going for at the midpoint. Now it's really important that you don't over mix this, otherwise it will separate. So I just paused it to let you guys see this. I'm gonna whisk it on high speed now until I get stiff peaks, about 20 to 30 seconds. That looks perfect. Now I'm also going to add in a little bit of red food coloring and about one third cup of strawberry preserves. And again, you can also do this with raspberry, even blueberry preserves. I also like this with blackberry jam. Perfect, you literally need to mix it for like 10 seconds after you add that jam. Do not over mix. And that's it for my filling. I just love how creamy and delicious it is. It's going to be like the perfect filling for this parfait. I just wanna state this again and overstate it. Do not over mix this. Please, please stand next to your mixer when you're making this. It takes literally just a few seconds of over mixing it for it to separate. So watch it carefully. You can under mix it, but don't over mix it. And now we can get started on this sangria parfait. So I have a large trifle bowl here. You can also make individual parfaits if you wanna use some like plastic cups. That would be great if you're taking it to an event and you want it to look extra special. Now let's talk about the fruit. I am using today some fresh juicy pineapple. I've pitted some cherries. I also have some blueberries. And in my last bowl I have strawberries and nectarines. Now for the sangria part, I just pour the sangria into a large mixing bowl so I could dip the lady fingers in there. You can make this recipe non-alcoholic. You just replace the sangria with like a grape juice or a grape cocktail. As long as it's nice and sweet, it's going to work perfectly here. And my favorite part about this recipe is that it's so easy to put together. So just grab your lady fingers, give them a couple seconds soak in the sangria, and then I'm gonna start by lining the bottom of the bowl first. And today I'm using like hard, crispy lady fingers, not the soft types. And we're gonna add a nice scoop of this fluffy whipped cream filling and we're gonna just spread it evenly to the edges and then just layer on a mixture of fruit. So I'm just gonna add a little handful of from each bowl. And you can use just about any combination of fruit. I also would have loved to add some kiwi but I forgot to buy it in the store and that would taste so, so good. Just feel free to use any type of berry and any type of fruit here.
Guys, how gorgeous is this fruit trifle? It looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to dig in and enjoy this. I just hate to ruin how beautiful it looks. Now, how I serve it is just grab a big spoon and just scoop right down. So I like to start from the side, kind of break it up, break up the lady fingers. Now, I recommend placing this into the refrigerator overnight to let all those amazing flavors come together and the lady fingers to soften up. I don't have that time today. I'm just gonna scoop it right up and dig in to enjoy. And this already looks so good. I love all the cream, amazing. Mmm. <laughs> Just wow, all these different flavors come together to form one of the most incredible desserts I've ever had. It's just creamy and fruity, and it has the lady fingers in there that are soaked in the sangria, so you have a little bit of kick from that. Absolutely incredible. If you're looking for the ultimate no-bake dessert, this is it. Just head on down into that video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my blog so you can print this recipe off and of course share it with all your family and friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this dessert all summer long. And if you do make it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram with Tatiana's Everyday Food. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I'll see you next time.